Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Well, what a difference a day makes. So the ECB did not cut uh, interest rates by as much as expected and they didn't embark on a big stimulus package as what was expected. And that's what's caused a really big sell-off in the uh, global equity markets and the euro has absolutely catapulted into the stratosphere to where it was. So had, uh, I think the euro had its biggest one-day move in seven years yesterday. Uh, completely caught traders by surprise and that coupled with uh, the impending rate hike in in the US from at the FOMC on the 16th, which obviously may or may not happen based on, you can't really trust what the central bankers say at the best of times. Um, but it's a very negative candle to have off the session lows though. As Quite interesting. It kind of rebounded and already this morning it's tried to break up through 17.561 but failed. And looking at the end of day charts, it doesn't look very strong either. So having a look at, look at the UK 100, very, very negative candle right here. Uh, it's, it's hit multiple uh, candle levels on the way down. I mean, again, a little bit off the session lows, quite a good bit away away from potential resistance at 62.96 or 6300. We're quite close to having a death cross in the moving averages. Same with the MACD, and we've got a sell signal and a slow stochastic. From a technical analysis perspective, uh, a number of these signals here are adding downwards pressure. So then looking at Japan 225, another bearish engulfing pattern, more negativity this morning, hasn't broken the low reached yesterday. Um, the next potential support would be around about 19,104. So looking at dollar yen, uh, we had the dollar lose strength, people buy, buying the yen. Uh, that's another bearish engulfing pattern. Not much happening this morning. 121.87 is the next potential support level. You could probably look at this from a forward perspective, in fact. And by looking at this in the forward aspect, uh, you'll be able to see it in the sideways moving range. So you can pretty much have yourself a potential resistance level right there. And you could probably pretty much have yourself a potential support down there. So if you're into short term trading, uh, that four hour interval on dollar yen looks kind of interesting. Then moving on to West Texas crude, uh, big bounce yesterday as a dollar uh, unwound. Uh, obviously, we had a negative candle there on Wednesday, a bit of a rebound, but a pattern of lower highs. You could almost draw a line straight down here with that. That's what we're going to do. Just for fun, we're going to have this level from here, and we're going to see if it continues to follow that pattern over the next couple of sessions. And that would actually be a triangle formation. If I just do this, this would be a short term descending triangle formation, which usually results in a breakout one way or the next. So I'm just going to save my layout so I don't forget about those uh, new levels I've drawn on. Uh, looking at gold, uh, it did have a rebound yesterday. Uh, again, similar pattern to, uh, to crude. Uh, if I just get my drawing tool out here again, it's maybe too steep. It's still in play right now, but that's a very steep level. I'll keep it on there for now and see how that pans out. But uh, 1,072 still potential resistance, 1,031 longer term potential support. So then finishing up with euro dollar and GBP USD, today is non-farm payrolls. Okay, so that's a very, very big one. Um, it's probably had a little bit of its excitement taken out of it because everybody's waiting for the ECB yesterday. Promises to be a, a very, very interesting uh, couple of days. It's been crazy for the markets. Look at this move on euro dollar. I have not seen a candle quite as a, well, you've not seen a candle like this for seven years. So uh, that is something pretty special. Almost getting up to 110 from 15 all the way up to 110. It's a 500 point move in one day. The question, and the thing is, how many people were long? I know from looking at the clients in the last couple of sessions that everybody was long the US dollar. So this move has caught so many people unawares. And the big reason for that is everybody was short. And to get out of your short position, what do you have to do? You have to buy. And we have seen a huge catapult right there. That's such an amazing candle. I've not seen something quite like that on, uh, on FX uh, for quite a while. But looks to be 55 period SMA acts as a potential cap. Uh, we might get drift back down to 1.08. Uh, Entry day charts, oh, this looks like an incredible move. I actually did touch 1.05, you can just see that uh, before uh, the ECB and then you had the draggy speech. So that's where Euro dollar is. GBP USD, the sterling had itself a pretty good, uh, to be honest, it's more like the dollar unwound because obviously to, to uh, for, for the euro dollar move to, to buy back the euros, you have to sell your, your dollars as well. So it's not exactly sterling strength. If I look at sterling GBP, uh, the move hasn't been quite as aggressive, but it's moved about two, 200 points easy. So it's not just a sterling move. 
and we still have non-brown payrolls today. That's the thing. <clears throat> non-brown payrolls comes out mega strong. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how much of those gains get given back up. Anyway, with uh, cable, we're trading towards the bottom of the daily range, uh, which doesn't look that much compared to the massive candle we had yesterday. So remember, guys, non-farm payrolls. Make sure you got your alarm set for that. Go to support. Go to live trader events. Make sure you sign up for our live webinar with Colin Traginski and Michael Hewson today uh, at quarter past one till one forty-five. Okay, and keep your eye on the chart forum. Make sure you've got insights as part of your layout. Lots of really useful, cool information here from our global analyst teams to help you identify the markets. And join me again on Monday to find out.